ready to explore their wild side with you. They want to do all the twists and turns. They don't care what life throws at them. They're just ready to vibe and have a great old time. You know what time it is of the year. It's Halloween. And we're going to be having fun videos this whole month. Themed outfits. Themed readings. Themed cards out the wahoo. This is the best time of the year and you got to celebrate. got to self-express. All right, I won't be wearing this hat the whole entire time. The hat. I won't be wearing the mask the whole entire time. It's hard to breathe, but let's go ahead and pull our cards. So, the reading topic of the day is who wants to explore their wild side with you? This is way easier to use than last year. My thing, so my thing with dressing up, every year I'm a different version of Spider Man. Last year I was Tobey Maguire Spider Man. And this year, I'm Spider-Man 2099. We'll see what will happen next year. But, what are you guys going to be for Halloween? What are you guys going to be for Halloween? You definitely have some cool events. There's some breaking barriers. You make somebody feel their wild side for real, for real. It's like, but they feel so safe with you too. Is breaking barriers, breaking generational curses, mindsets, domestication. We got our pumpkin hero now. We already got a pumpkin oracle, Halloween orange gown. Um, but yeah, you make them feel light. You make them feel breezy. They definitely like your tricks and your treats, whether it's all or me. Alright, this feels like it's more than I promise you. This energy is more than lust. Oh, so much more farther than that. This is confidence. This is fruition. And dragons are big four moons within this dynamic. Okay, so those are our cards. Let me go ahead and take this bad boy off. And let's get into the reading. Wow. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and stop analyzing the cards and just take them from here with you. I haven't even flipped over these five. This is insane. Insane in the membrane. Um, but no, for real. Like, well, we got an amazing part of this reading. The, the, it's an amazing reading, but it's tea. It's fucking tea. You got two people this reading is about. One person that's not part of his timeline anymore. No matter what happens with the other person. Um... You understand a form of your self-worth and that a certain connection has served its purpose in your life. But there's a person that's going to they're gonna try to contact you very soon and state that they were wrong, that they're sorry, yada, yada. Um, but you have a new love. You have a new interest. You have somebody who you understand crystal clear. Uh, you really do understand crystal clear why it didn't work out with other people. You're still taking this organically, but spirit also says don't don't make stagnation. There, this person, that's the high vibrational one in this reading that you're going forth with, is everything. You and I mean I do mean this in a realistic way, not setting unhealthy expectations on other people. This is what you've asked for. This is the person you've manifested, and they've always been there, right in front of your eyes. But it wasn't time. You weren't ready for each other. And Spirit made sure when you two meet, when you did meet, you were ready. So, basically, the person that wants to explore the wild side with you, before meeting you, they had partners that were not willing to fight and try to do the level of tenacity, to be quite frank, that they would give a dynamic. And that's not wrong to admit. You see, the growth that you two both have experienced is understanding, yeah, other people didn't give me enough and it's not discrediting, they're worth stating that it's true. You and this person have always felt the balance give and take. Um, I want to give you something because I know I, I want to give you something out of the kindness of my heart, but somehow I internally know you actually will get back. Of course, I have my parasite. I have that thing that tries to tell me 
maybe things will change. But you and this person have a telepathic connection, okay? Um, you have arrived. This is the time. This is prime. You both are flourishing in this world and so much new expansion. You're both going to be running and stomping this world together. You already run your own pack. You're, you already run your own crew, your own energy, your own team, your own pack. You're, you already run your own crew, your own energy, your own team. Take it as it resonates. But when you two combine your forces, you see, you're realizing. You both make each other realize. The others did not practice gratitude with you. You notice how many times you let yourself be brushed off. There's been a lot of reflection. You two have big energetic downloads. This person helped you see how other partners around you have always seeked shortcuts. That they wanted all this stuff to happen, but they weren't willing to do the work for it. I need you to understand how protected and guided this connection is, okay? I've been trying to light an incense over there. That's one of my lover's incense. Because all my uh, the incense I use are like tarot themed. But the one over there is lover's and it won't, it won't light, which makes me see, I completely see it as there's no need for you to have any form of protection from this person. Your, your teams work together. You're literally side by side, doesn't matter how far you are. But needless to say, this person is, they see you as the left path. So you could be an eccentric type of person. You could have your own look, your own vibe. And to others in the outside world, it might be a very uh, sticky situation to become in union with you, however that resonates. But that's because everybody else is blinded. You love authentically with no conditions. You're sexy. Both of you in the last, okay, so like there was always this connection. There was, but the last outing, something much more intimate no matter if you kissed, held hands, hugged, whatever it is that you two experienced, even just locking eyes, there was this, there was this intensity of a, whoa, an upgrade, a spark, a gleamer in the eye that changed to a sexual sense. You are so attracted to how this person works and does things for themselves. They work hard for themselves. Guys, I can't light these fucking incense. This is insane. They're giving out. This doesn't happen to me ever. This is protected. This is guided. They want you to know it's go time. No stagnation. Yeah, you're both, you're both suppressing feelings at this moment just because you don't want to overwhelm or rush and ruin a good thing, but that's changing. Okay. So, you, your resilient source. Both of you see that you can also celebrate, you can go out together. You both have the same form of financial abundance. Whoever the feminine is that in this, in the, in this dynamic, uh, I just sense uh, is very much like on their edge, pre-workout effects, going through a lot of ups and downs, definitely battling some domestication um, barriers right now. So understandable. This is part of the release of domestication. Dealing with some parental wounds. Understanding that they don't have to have acceptance from anybody. And also releasing imposter syndrome about being worthy of you. It looks like the masculine's also releasing imposter syndrome of being worthy of this feminine. 
you both are willing to show each other your skeletons in the closets. Because we all have them. But that doesn't mean that there's these crazy dramatic things. They're just the things about you that are dark. The things about your life that are dark that you don't celebrate. But you're starting to understand maybe I should celebrate the growth. You don't trauma bond with this person. You expand. You talk about trauma in an expansive way. Look what I've came through. They want to explore. Yes, we've already cons we, we we already we already know it's the sexual stuff. We already know that you two are going down this world of of abundance. But it's also your minds, and and the and like the fact that both of you do practice gratitude. You want to sow each other. You want to wine and dine. You both have the ability. To drip for your dreams to be actually here. So Spirit says you both have worked very hard to get to the level of mastery you do in your own life. In your own self-control. You have Shabbat no longer serves. So this isn't a time of holding back at all. This is the sweetness. This is good for your heart like dark chocolate is what I'm being told. Chocolate is something to resonate. Willy Wonka, something to resonate. Interesting. This is where the reading takes the funny turn. Not funny, but... Because this is where the other person's energy comes in. So somebody... This is where the reading takes the funny turn. Not funny. Because this is where the other person's energy comes in. So somebody that you know you feel your story is complete with. But if spirit says there's still an unfinished story, even if it's just conversations of closure or whatever. Somebody currently that disappeared from your life. Things are not going the best. Things are not going the way they expected and now they want to be resilient. They want to bring you an, uh, an offer. But the thing about this offer, there's not meat behind it. There's not substance. There's not meat behind it. You were so open-minded to them. You you were so understanding. And and I'm not saying that that was all for nothing. It, this was for everything. You solidified something with this person that you, it was like a lesson you weren't able to solidify with your twin flame. The person that puts you through a lot of ups and downs, but you do separate for further growth. And then you meet your aligned one, your divine, but in between the twin flame and the aligned one, you have soulmates and karmics that come in to help solidify things and also pave the path to your aligned one. This is a person of that timeline, of that time frame. Um, and they see how close-minded they really were to things now. They want to tell you, oh, I'm willing to do this new beginning with you, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you, your life is healthier without them. And you're, you would have to make some form of decision, however, that resonates. But you've already made it. And you're not scared. You've always been the leap of faith. When you put your all into somebody, you give them your all until they give you a reason not to anymore because that's who you are. You love unconditionally with passion. You're very guided and protected. And Spirit wants you to know they really did guide you away from this person as soon as, like, as soon as the reason they needed to be in your life was solidified. They put up a barrier and said, you don't need them anymore. You also, though, served your purpose in their life as well. Because there's life path, right path choices. It didn't have to be from the very beginning that ended up this way. But this is how it occurred. No matter what, you were meant to meet this divine. But who stayed with you along the way, that was life path, right path choices. So Spirit's basically telling you, um, be ready for a conversation. Be ready for somebody who ghosted you to reach out. That's saying that they're going to say they're inspired and... They've thought about a lot since summertime, yada yada. But you know what's actually meant for you. And whatever is happening around that time of your life when that happens, you'll have your answers. 
whoever's in your life, who's ever still giving you a balance, give and take. No expectations, just knowing that you two want to rest, want to be together. This high vibrational person that you're experiencing with this month that wants to explore the wild side with you. So with these cards never even being flipped over, I'm very curious. I think this is what you are thinking of this person currently, and this is what they're thinking of you currently. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. I can't tell you how many times I've pulled so many yin yang cards. So, you know, these are two tarots. I've pulled the four of swords. I've pulled the I've pulled the six of swords, the ace of cups, the page of cups, and like every single one. Okay. This person, they're thinking of the whole new beginning with you. That you're the straightforward action in a bad situation. They've they've solidified their their understandings. They're ready to rise from the ashes. They're all about this. The one that wants to explore the wild side with you. They see the bigger picture. They're right on path with you. You guys have a telepathic connection. You're always talking, especially through plants. What you're thinking is, I'm not making stagnation. They ready, I'm ready. This is redemption, but not even redemption with each other. It's like, because you two, it's just the second, it's, not even, it's, it's the energy vibe of a second chance. Like this is the real new beginning. This is like, you've, you just made it. Redemption from every other relationship beforehand. And you know you're the masculine. You see the way I'm taking with the star being in reverse right now? You know you are either the masculine in this dynamic or the best thing you can do to continue to keep inspiration and etc. is remember to honor your masculine nature. Your willpower to not let the parasite tell you that this person isn't for, for you or this person doesn't care about you or that things are going to change or that you've done something wrong. You and this person get so many downloads together. This inspiration is going nowhere. You continue, they continue. Spirit's very proud of both of you. So, what we got with the oracles? You both are in a moment of pause, just taking in all of the energy, all of the memories, all of the talks, all of the looks from that last meeting. But and you, and you're both going in, with, going in right now. You're daydreaming about each other, thinking about each other all the time, all the time. They want you to know that with this help is on the way card. I I always sense this as is. Both of you are continuing to get signs and synchronicities with numbers, animals, plants, dates, songs, that you're connected. But there's a sense of you guys also being able to be like, go with me here. You're both, you could be some form of influencers. You could both be some form of having an, a, a big influence on people boss, etc. Your dynamic, your love, could actually be a sense of a role model, relationship, authentic, real. You two are expanding. This is more than you, oh my God, this is, I just got crazy. This is more than, your love is for more than just you two. You're going to make other people unite with their aligned ones from sharing your story when the time is right, from continuing to expand this. Even though it, it's a, a crazy word to say, but you two are very, in, you, you're, you're very in tune with the world and you can see things. And when the time is right, this word will be manifested into each other's lives, but you, you both do love each other. You're both already, I gotta say it. Everything still forms organically. You're both already in love with each other. 
What are you two thinking about each other as we speak right now? That's what these cards are going to be about. It has to be... It feels like it really does feel about like breaking up fear. But like fun fears. So maybe another outing. Maybe you're both thinking about how am I going to see them again? Very interesting. Yeah, you're both wanting to stay in touch. Very touch. All right, let's do this. It looks like what you're both... It, basically, you're both thinking the same things. I, there's no separating right now what you're thinking. Because you and this person have a soul tie. You can even notice like when you're together, synchronizations of how spirit makes you arrive. How things flow around you, opportunities, just the perfect seat, the perfect parking spot. Both of you have decided to release control <laughs> when it comes to not anything except, okay, I'm safe with this person. Like I, I gotta release the need to feel like they're gonna they're gonna hurt me. I know I know this person without. I know this person without needing any other explanation. Both of you are thinking about how I regret absolutely nothing. The feminine though feels very protected by the masculine and the masculine thinks about all the time about wanting to protect them. You both go with the flow but also you're wanting to shake things up. Masculine, whoever you are here, if you are the masculine, don't back down. Keep doing your organicness, keep doing your vibes, your chills. Do not let your fear that you could scare them away or that they're too good for you, when that parasite tries to say that, stop you. They absolutely see you as so much more so much more than even a romantic partner. You're not wrong. And feminine here, let me tell you something. That's the same exact thing for you. Sunflowers are big for movement music. They, your masculine speaks to you through music. The shock of the new. You want to express whoever you are here. Both of you want to express Even more admiration. I mean, like, you, you told each other, oh, you, you've impacted my life and you're inspiring, but, like, to the depth of the soul. You're both thinking about how you want to honor your throat chakras. You don't care who knows about this dynamic. This is going to go very fast. Well, this is going to go very fast because of how much you two... You've waited so long for this, why are you gonna make each other wait longer? This is the as above, so below. You're gonna see the tree of life symbol quite a bit too. Your ancestors are connecting this. You don't care who knows. You don't care if, if anybody feels and sees. This is your happiness. The risk is worth the reward. Apples are a big four movement. Pomegranates are a big four movement. You're gonna see apples and like pomegranates randomly when they're thinking about you expressing their wild side in a sexual sense with you. Hmm. Basically, both of you are thinking about if this person's ready, I'm ready, I'm not going to hold back. You're going to be seeing each other again very soon. Foundations are already built. Walls are already built. It looks like it's the roof that's getting built now, and then y'all move into the inside of the house. All right, that's what I got for y'all today. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Oh, also, fucking awesome event that's happening this weekend. If you live in Pensacola, Florida, or the surrounding area, Phil called. I want to be there at Mind, Body, and Soul Clinic for their annual Halloween event. It's Saturday, it's October 7th, it's at 6 p.m. I'm gonna be doing tarot readings there and there's a lot of other people and events that are gonna be there. 
I'm gonna make sure to attach all that information at the end of this. I would love to give you a reading in person. I'd love to just chill and vibe with you too. All right? So, I hope to see you there. Nonetheless, y'all have a great weekend. And I'll see ya. Let's get it.